Hi, my name is Jenny Tan. I am from 21A. In this video, I would like to discuss about marketing communication channels that attract me in the recent lectures. A marketing communication channel, also known as a media channel, is a medium a businesses uses to communicate a promotional message. Separate from the content of your message, it only describes how you connect audiences to your brand. Marketers may refer to the marketing communication channels that predate the internet as a traditional and those that rely on it as a digital. There is a reason why marketing communication channels is important. It's important because they serve as the, the foundation for all marketing activities. They allow businesses to target different audiences with tailored strategies that maximize their return on investment. Advertising networks also rely on the concept of distinct marketing communication channels. They treat each channel as a separate product worth a different price. And an advertising network, for example, may charge more for billboard advertising than a street level signage if billboards are more effective and in a greater demand. There is a two types of marketing communication channels. One is traditional marketing communication channels and the other one is digital marketing communication channels. Market, the traditional marketing channels don't rely on the internet but they remain a vital tool for many enterprises. Some businesses primarily rely on the traditional marketing channels because of their target demography or because of their business model. Roadside restaurants, for instance, mostly rely on a simple signage to attract diners. Since digital advertising increasingly reflects what users already know and like, some companies use uh, traditional marketing communication channels to introduce products to cons consumers that aren't familiar with their brands. For example, physical mail, radio ads like we always hear when we are in the car, television ads also same as the radio ads, it just has a visual effects like images, anime, something like that. Billboard and signs, telemarketing, events, and print ads. Let's look into digital marketing communication channel. Digital communication marketing channels have empowered companies to reach much wider audiences, often for a reasonable cost. One of their transformative effects has been enabled marketers to receive immediate feedback about the performance of an ad. Companies learn almost instantly which ads earn engagement and convert sales and can quickly apply insights to ongoing or future marketing efforts. For instance, from the digital marketing communication channels is social media like Facebook, Instagram, TikToks, uh, YouTube's for and then is uh, email websites blogs like if you search in a Google there's a lot of type of blogs that the blockers uh, post in their account videos like such as TikTok videos uh, Instagram reels YouTube short videos or long videos, mobile uh, online and mobile ads such as Shopee ads. Uh, we have, uh, as for me, when I was using phone or playing game, there's a lot of Shopee ads that coming out. And then is a podcast. Usually, podcast was in the Spotify. There's a lot of type of podcasts. There is a way to choose the right marketing communication channel for your businesses. There is a few steps to follow when we are choosing a marketing communication channel. The first one is determine marketing budget. 
Determine how large budget is before developing any firm's ideas about marketing approach. Depending on its size, we may have to omit certain communication channels or we might confirm our ability to choose whichever we like. If we choose to invest in a variety of communication channels, then the benefit from knowing how much of our budget that we can allocate to each one. The second one is access marketing resources and assets. Aside from funding, our marketing campaign relies on other critical resources such as marketing team and the products or services that can apply to our campaign. Depending on our marketers' strengths, certain communication channels may be more sensible than others. For instance, if our marketers excel at writing engagement, engaging content, we may favor creating a blog. If we know a commercial production company that does great work at a reasonable price, we may favor television ads instead. The third step is identify your likely candidates. Often, certain communication channels are obvious candidates while others are clearly not going to work on it. Simplify our upcoming research process by eliminating any that don't fit our brand and highlighting those that seem promising. At this stage, we can also categorize communication channels so that we can ensure that the one we use from each category that we feel is a critical. For example, among the traditional options, we might want one type of signage, our broadcast, uh, one broadcast media ad and one print ad. The fourth step is research your, your options. Research enables our, us to confirm or revise our beliefs about the communication channels that best for our businesses. It also provides us with crucial information about costs that directly affect if and to what extent we can invest in each communication channel. Here are the several key considerations to research. The first one is cost, and then is audience relevance. The, sec- the third one is geography relevance, and the fourth one is time requirement, with, uh, and then is a brand match, and also specialized requirements. And the fifth step is rank each communication channel. Once we learn about each communication channel, assign it a rank based on how well it meets a certain goal, such as geography relevance or brand match. Once we assign a rank for each criteria, decide which we want to weight most. We might decide monetary costs and time requirement are our primary concerns. For instance, Compare our budget with what different mixes of communication channels will cost and determine the combination that reaches the most popular and offers the best return on investment. The last one is once your monitor results. Once our campaign goes live, closely monitor how each communication channel performs. We might look at concrete metrics such as clicks or might ask our customers how they learn about our businesses and see which communication they mention most often. As we collect feedback, look for the improvements that we can make when launching our next marketing campaign. There is an, uh, two examples from uh, success, successful marketing communication channels selection. The one is music store examples. For fun, a music store posts a review of a new guitar on its social media. The video earns 
unusually high engagement and the stores receive requests for similar content. The store owner realized that they can create a video channel that highlights their talented and well-informed employees. Within a few weeks, the channel contains several videos with equipment reviews and guitar playing tips, each earning thousands of views. These low-cost efforts results in unprecedented online sales as users from distant locations decide to support the small businesses, appreciative of its great content. The second example is fan merchandise store. Someone opens an uh, online store selling t-shirts that reference popular television shows from the past. The store owner researched that these shows cast members and learns several, several of them host products. Online fan forums seem excited about the podcast too, convincing the store owner to purchase ads on uh, several of them. When introduced to product, the podcast hosts and former television stars share the genuine enthusiasm for the t-shirts, whereas they typically just read the copy advertisers provide them. Fan listening on computers or mobile devices can immediately look up to the store and sales increase the sales increase in dramatically. So in conclusion, it's important to have uh, to learn about marketing communication channels which have two types which is the traditional and digital. It's important we to understand that so that we can use in our business so that we can grow our income or our return on investment and also growth of the company. That's all from me. Thank you.